News is the sudden death of San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee. He died overnight of an apparent heart attack. He was just 65 years old. And ABC 7 News anchor Carolyn Tyler has been providing us invaluable insight in studio this morning. She is part of our live team coverage. We're beginning with ABC 7 News reporter Jessica Castro live at City Hall with what we are learning about his passing. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning and no doubt a sudden death here. It is going to be a hard morning at City Hall for so many people who knew Mayor Ed Lee personally coming here into the City Hall, uh, walking up these steps every single day and having to go to work with this news this morning that uh, Mayor Ed Lee suddenly died at 65 years old overnight. That will be at the forefront of everything here today. And ABC 7 News has learned he went into cardiac arrest last Last night while shopping at a Safeway store. He was mayor of San Francisco since 2011, was just recently re-elected. As we've been mentioning, his death is sudden. In fact, he was just at a recycling event yesterday. He seemed healthy. And here is now acting Mayor London Breed announcing Mayor Lee's death at Zuckerberg General earlier this morning. Take a listen. As a whole. Edwin M. Lee passed away early this morning. Tuesday, December 12th at 1.11 a.m. at Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital. Family, friends, and colleagues were by his side. The 43rd mayor of San Francisco, Ed was 65 years old. Our thoughts and prayers are with his wife, Anita, his daughters, Tanya and Brianna, and his entire family. It is a day of mourning here in San Francisco, and just within the last five minutes or so, we had crews out here lowering the flag, the American flag, to half staff. Uh, they are working on the other flags that are out here. This is the large one in front of the uh, plaza, right in front of City Hall. A little hard to see since the sun is not quite up yet. And today we're going to be seeing a transition here at City Hall that we haven't seen in 39 years. The first time in 39 years that a mayor has died while holding office. And now acting mayor London Breed, who you just heard from, is going to be holding another press conference here about 10 a.m. this morning. Reporting live from City Hall, I'm Jessica Castro, ABC 7 News. Jessica, thank you. One of the first voices we heard about the passing of the mayor was from former mayor Willie Brown. In fact, he was talking to our Carolyn Tyler early this morning and yes. what did he say to you when you first heard this? He must have been in shock. He was. He, he sounded, uh, of course, very stunned and he simply said that uh, he knew that it had happened uh, around 1030 last night. He had heard that the mayor was grocery shopping at his neighborhood Safeway mm -hmm. when he suddenly collapsed and that uh, he went into a cardiac arrest and they were trying to work on him and revive him. Uh, took him to uh, General Hospital where, where he died uh, very suddenly. And, and he was generous enough to speak with us this morning. Our own Amy Hollyfield has been um, in contact with him this morning and she is joining us now live uh, where the mayor lives. Uh, and Amy, what did the mayor, former mayor tell you? He said he just saw Mayor Ed Lee and the two were doing their usual teasing of each other, that he was perfectly healthy, full of life. Uh, Mayor Willie Brown was just amazed when he got the call this morning. I was absolutely shocked. I was awakened shortly after 1 a.m. Um, this morning, um, called from uh, Jane Kim and London Breed. They were telling me that uh, the mayor had died. Not, I initially didn't believe If it had been any other person calling me, I would not have believed it. Ed Lee worked in Mayor Brown's administration. He was his public works director. He calls him a cornerstone of his administration. Uh, Brown calling Lee bright and able, skillful at pulling politicians together. And he also mentioned that he was really good at basketball. Brown says he expects City Hall to pull together during this time. He doesn't expect to see people playing politics, saying no one had a bad thing to say 
about Ed Lee. Um, and boy, Ed Lee always had that bright smile on his face. Uh, Mayor Brown does expect to see everyone pulling together to support Lee's widow, Anita, and their daughters. No word yet on funeral services. Uh, it's too early for that, but Mayor Brown tells us he does expect that Lennon Breed will have Mayor Lee lie in state at City Hall so well wishers can come by and pay their respects and also to see a book out so people can uh, sign their condolences in a book for the city. Reporting live in San Francisco, Amy Hollyfield, ABC 7 News. Amy, thank you. And we are seeing the reactions pouring in on social media this morning as people hear the news. San Francisco Supervisor Katie Tang tweeting this out. Look at this photo. Holding on to happy memories, Mr. Mayor, sending all my love to his beloved Anita and daughters. And Board of Supervisors President London Breed is now acting mayor. Here's what we know about her. She is a native San Franciscan, a graduate of Galileo High School. Prior to her election to the Board of Supervisors, she was the executive director of the African American Art and Culture Complex. She was elected to the Board of Supervisors in 2012, representing District 5. So that includes the Fillmore Western Edition, Hayes Valley, Lower Haight, Haight-Ashbury, Japantown, Alamo Square, north of Panhandle, Cole Valley, and Inner Sunset neighborhoods. Breed was then elected president of the board. That just happened in 2015.